never easy to you know, see a teammate go down, especially when it's a guy like like Dewey. How difficult was that maybe for you and for everyone to see, and how do you kind of go forward? Yeah, I mean, obviously tough when you watch it. Obviously, it didn't look good uh, when it happened. Uh, so, I mean, obviously, it's going to be a tough time without him, tough time for him. Uh, obviously, that's, uh, yeah, like I said, sucks to see that happen, obviously, in the, in the preseason before the season even started. So, yeah, he's going to be uh, missed. Uh, but, uh, yeah, on the other hand, the opportunities for other guys to step up, show that they can uh, play in his role. And, uh, you know, it's uh, some big shoes to fill, but, you know, we have some good players and some young talent, and uh, he can step in and, and do a good job. So, uh, yeah, good for them. But, yeah, obviously, uh, sad to lose a key piece to the team. When you broke into the league as a full-time guy, I believe it was when Jeff Carter got hurt. How did you kind of see that opportunity when you were that younger player a few years ago? Yeah, I mean, I uh, you know, I was – a player that maybe didn't play uh, the most on the team and then obviously when cars got hurt you know uh, it's kind of that opportunity I I had and I took and you know playing yeah at the time second line center uh, with with some good players was uh, yeah uh, obviously pressure then when you go up and play with uh, those type of players but I think uh, yeah just try to uh, keep it simple but yeah work hard to do the things that I did uh, when I wasn't playing as much and then you know the goals and points and all that kind of stuff came eventually so I think that for me at the time it's been a while now but uh, yeah, as I remember you know it's just a fun opportunity you get and yeah just uh, gotta take advantage of it. We know Drew as a player but he's also obviously a very vocal leader. Is it fall on maybe the group as a collective it's guys like you to do a little bit more Mikey other guys to just try to fill that collectively? Yeah I mean especially during uh, games and stuff I feel like because you know he's Obviously, he's loud uh, wherever he is, and you know he's still around the team. Uh, I'm sure when when we're in the in the locker room and uh, here at TC, he's he's always going to be around, and we're always going to hear him, anyways. But yeah, at the games, yeah, some of the guys uh, has to step up, be a little louder. Um, on the back end, I'm sure Dewey is the the most vocal guy back there. So yeah, uh, good good time for Mikey or some other guys, Gabby and all those guys to to be a little louder. But yeah, overall in the locker room, I think everybody. Everybody has to, to be louder now, obviously, when we, we're going to miss him. And uh, he's a big voice, and, you know, he, uh, he helps, helps out a lot, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever it is, uh, on the ice or off the ice. So, yeah, a lot of guys are going to have to step up in that uh, area. One, two, two. I think it was the first day of camp, just a new kind of concept. But you guys have now done it for a bit. What have been your impressions so far and how it's kind of impacted you with yeah, it's been good. Uh, I mean, obviously, I haven't played any games yet, so that's uh, kind of the, the last piece that I want to get out there and do. Uh, it's a little different in practice when you're out there. If you get burnt, blah, 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 you don't really care about it, but obviously it's different in a game. But uh, watching from the games, uh, I think there's been uh, obviously some things that we can do better still, and, you know, it's a learning. Uh, it's a new new complete system in the, in the team. But I think uh, we've created a lot of turnovers, a lot of chances from it, especially... In the Utah game, I felt like in the second and third period, there's a lot of uh, rushes we created off of that, which is uh, yeah, fun to see and uh, a good a good sign. So I mean, uh, I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be uh, yeah, advantage for me to use my speed and uh, skill even more. And uh, hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully it's going to be turn out good. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see tomorrow. Not sure if you're going to be in the lineup tomorrow, but it's a game in Ontario. You played two years there. Is it cool to see? A game at this level, a big crowd there to play in front of those fans. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, I think uh, it's been a while now since I've played the uh, exhibition game down there, but uh, all I remember is that, you know, the fans are great down there, uh, always big support. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, you can see on the videos when the rain plays there, they have great fans. So, I mean, I think uh, it's going to be a pretty busy building, and, um, yeah, looking forward to it. I know it's been talked about, and I know it's been asked already, any neutral zone for check is to try to create turnovers. But this one puts you in a better position to counterattack? Yeah, for sure. And uh, we've been talking about it during the camp too, you know, just skating, uh, whether you're the number one, two, or three, to keep your uh, skating going forwards instead of standing still going backwards. Obviously, when you trans transition, uh, that's just going to help a lot. And uh, whether it takes some time to get used to or not, but I think uh, once we turn the puck over, you're skating forwards and make a quick turn, it's going to help a lot, I think, and I, that's just, just what I'm, I'm feeling.